listeners and subscribers hope all is well so i hope you caught my last video there i didn't want to gloss over uh, a couple articles that were really important but i wanted to tie it into something else okay because all these things are interconnected and i hope you understand that i just thought this was interesting right apple cracks down on apps that fight iphone addiction and what we're talking about here they have apps i mean much like your your screen time on your your iphone it shows you um how long you keep an app open and how much uh screen time a certain app is taking up how long you're on it that's essentially what these are uh they have uh, apps in the app store that allow you to limit or track your uh, child's phone use so you can so they essentially they don't fall victim to some of the uh, the addictive qualities that these uh, phones can induce you know the, the release of um, serotonin and uh, things like that that really you know stimulate the brain and sort of give it the same stimulation as, as if it were um, sort of euphoric you know the giving them the euphoric stimulation and that's what these uh devices can bring out i mean so much so that even you know bill gates and steve jobs essentially raised their kids tech free okay and just like this article says it should have been a red flag okay because steve jobs he disclosed in a 2011 interview that uh, he didn't let his you know kids play with the newest ipads uh, bill gates uh, had took a similar approach with with tech and his children i think there's something there i think these people know something uh, that isn't generally understood in the public or at least p that people won't sort of open up to because what we're seeing i mean it, it just there's there's a lot of health implications there but also there's some nefarious undertones to this i mean what we see with what china's doing right made in china exported to the world the surveillance state while china has a surveillance state and is sort of being implemented by the government and whatnot the united states has almost just a sophisticated surveillance day. I mean, we learned, you know, from the Snowden revelations, right? Uh, things that we, a lot of people already knew before, and then they just kind of admitted, and then people got desensitized to it. It was like, yeah, I know that stuff. And then they, they, they just became okay with it. It's absolutely crazy. So before people were conspiracy theorists saying that the government was spying on you, and then when it comes out that they're actually spying on you, it comes becomes conspiracy fact, and it kind of just goes away. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, but that's what we have here. The, the Chinese government is doing the surveillance program, and here in the United States, it's sort of done through corporations and businesses and stuff. But... Let's get back to the health implications because I didn't want to skip over these articles that are a total win for the community that has been trying to, you know, raise the flag on a 5G and some of its health implications, okay? Because this one's this from Newsweek again, and I'll leave links in the description as usual. Parents are concerned as a fourth child is diagnosed with cancer while attending a California school with cell phone tower on campus. Okay, this is just one of those wins that goes to show that some people out there are paying attention to this stuff and that they're trying to make other people, you know, raise awareness so other people can get behind this and say, well, if this is dangerous here, do we really, should we, shouldn't we be second guessing some of the implementations of the 5g that they're trying to roll out and just like i i made in, in my last video that the netherlands was testing 5g and around the same time they were testing the 5g hundreds of birds dropped out of the sky dead and so you got to wonder if there was a sort of connection there uh, and i'm not going to read these articles but uh, i'll leave i'll leave links in the description but it just goes to show you right and it was so much so that that cell phone tower was actually removed from the schoolyard okay due to a cluster of cancer cases so it's absolutely incredible the the anecdotal tangential evidence is out there that points to uh, the sort of safety or lack thereof of these devices and what the telecommunica uh, telecommunication companies are telling us. I mean, I again, and I, I made the point in my last video that just like much what we saw with the uh, tobacco company sort of obfuscating health data and, and going out of their way to sort of put the propaganda and push their their narrative i think that's what we're seeing with telecommunication companies it's just absolutely crazy there's something there with this technology that they want us so bogged down and distracted so we aren't actively involved in the real world scenarios that sort of dictate the ins and outs of our lives i mean that right there is what's essentially it's really what's dangerous there is what we're looking at i i'm just i i tailor my approaches to the paradigm that we're currently in i, I perfectly think that we can operate without uh, government or we can hit the reset button and sort of put real folks in there who represent you know what the people is about and this is just really what we're looking here that the, the crux to the issue is that we don't have people informing themselves on the the essential issues that sort of again dictates the in and outs the ins and outs of our lives because uh if, if voting didn't matter i don't think they would have 
they would go so far out of their way to try and get us to endorse certain measures, you know, one measure or the next. I think there's something there. You know, I think they have, that's why they put out so much misinformation to misdirect us and misguide us to, so we can sort of um, consent to things that we would otherwise say no way to. And I think that this technology plays into that. Uh, the social networks out there, the, the multimedia conglomerates, you know, I've said before that 85 to, to 90 percent of everything we read watch and hear is controlled by only a handful of corporations so if they wanted you to know something or didn't want you to know something you can understand how you would or wouldn't know that thing and, and just as if they wanted you to talk about something or didn't want you talking about something they would or would not have you talking about that thing or they'd be controlling the conversation okay and i think in a lot of instances that's what we're talking about because we know that some of these people are informed about their own products and they take these sort of um, actions that, again, should be red flags for us. And we say, well, wh why are they doing that? You know what I mean? Uh, and, and we could tie that in to the, the, the greater story here because that's it's, it's all connected. It's all interconnected. And I, I just from, you know, cell phones to cell phone towers to the dangers of these you know devices to just how distracted they can be, that all plays into this. And unfortunately, unless people people are inoculated, you know, against the propaganda or inoculated with information that they can sort of use in a way that that's beneficial for, you know, everyone in their immediate sphere of influence as well as themselves. Uh, I, I think we're I think we're losing if, if we can't do that, if we can't um, articulate to to another individual uh, something that can help change their approach and get them to revisit some of the things they think to be true or, you know, some of the stances or position they take. I think that's really what we've, we've got to do here. And what we're doing on California Carters, we're just, just the signs on the road, letting you know what trajectory we're going in. And just these little tidbits of information that can be used to sort of, uh, bring this information to somebody else. Yeah. If you, if you can pick up what I'm putting down, I mean, really going forward, there's no easy way to say what's going to be happening here, but we're getting ready to see the end game. And a lot of these agendas that tie into each other, they all play into that. And even the stuff that we get from, you know, the mainstream and pop culture, we get hints of that. Okay. There's a lot of truth disguised as fictitious entertainment. Okay. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff out there where they really, they just tell us what's going on and they tell us the plan. All right. And we're going to get into that kind of stuff here on the channel. All this stuff ties into that. Uh, we'll get into that more into the future here because it really, we got to be candid about the subject. We have, we have to be candid about the subjects. There's no easy way to say what's going on and not everybody's going to believe some of this stuff. They've got their, their, their minds wired shut, but the problem is a lot of this stuff is cursory and you only have to scratch the surface to understand where this is going. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. We'll, we're going to get into some, some more of the, the nefarious aspects into this. I mean, we have to. Anyway, California Carter signing off.